Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Okay. So, um, so our little Nito that we love because... Isn't that pretty? It does such a nice job. <laughs> we don't have to vacuum. Oh, yeah. Um, it's been throwing an error for free my bumpers. And if you look online, there's not a lot of information on that. Um, it, the Nito has four bumpers. There's on this front here. There's a switch there, a switch there. There's one there, and there's one there. And I'm going to be quiet and click. And you'll notice the front two work really well. I need to get it from this side. You can hear that switch. You can hear that one. So that's the side one. And I have to really push hard on this one to get it to click. So I've had this off and it actually is free underneath it. They can get dirt and crud underneath here. Um, and it comes off, it's kind of tricky. You pull it out sideways this way. And you can get both sides. And it feels like it's gonna break. Don't break yours. I'm sure that this piece is crazy expensive. Um, sometimes it comes off like this for me and that time it did so here's the switches one over here and one over here and the switches all seem to work fine these little nylon pads that allow this to move freely there's two in here there's these ones in here that this rides on and so it just floats nice and easy and move so it really doesn't seem to be anything that would cause that except there's another problem that people complain about with the rollers especially on Amazon when they buy non neato parts now this is the original roller that came with it it's pretty chewed up we probably should have replaced it some time ago we've kind of neglected that and we're paying the price for it the other day i got in here and on this end where this roller sits this brass part was actually sticking out and fitting in that little notch that should not be um, and that's one of the problems that you get people complaining about they buy a cheap one and this is supposedly the bearing for this end this end sits on the motor drive that spins it but this end it just, just sits in there and allows this to spin on that end and so as it spins that little brass bushing is the bearing that allows this whole thing to work and you can kind of see that middle piece is spinning in there it has a fair amount of wobble in it and unfortunately we didn't get it on camera but this like i said this was was poked out and it was full of hair and dirt and grit and the inside part of this If I can do this without poking a hole in my hand with the Let's screwdriver. Not do that. You got enough issues. So this hole, and it's still got some. I didn't clean it all out. You can see this was just packed, and and this had pushed out. Like that. So that when it was sitting in here. It was like that. 
Well, this part here is when this is on, is keeping this from moving, which is why it's throwing the bumper. Um, so <laughs> I'm a little, I'm more than a little disappointed that they that this is the setup they've got here. Um, I'm hoping we've ordered the different type of brush, I think, didn't we? Yeah, love? this is a more expensive one of the um, two choices they had. It's kind of a wave brush that supposedly is better. Oh, shut up. <laughs> he doesn't like being laying on his back. Now, it's still got the same assembly on the end. But you can see that the bearing should sit like that. Why they don't have a sealed little roller bearing that costs like 20 cents is beyond me. So I'm going to just take my little propane torch and heat this plastic up. And try to melt it back in without catching everything on fire. And ruining it. That would be good. I don't want to buy another one. You, you might be able to use a heat gun. It melted it. Yeah, that's it's because that's what it did. It pushed it out. It's the heat of it, the bearing in there getting hot and or the lack of a bearing and just having a bushing. Yeah, if so, you're still under warranty, you might be able to get some recourse, but, but we couldn't. So I like it. It just well, in worst case scenario, I would try to attach some sort of metal or something uh, across to keep, there to keep it from pushing back out again. Yeah, well, it you know it, it shouldn't in theory, okay. but. So they recommend replacing these brushes a little more frequently than every... Than we did every year. Yeah, a little and over a year, right? It's been a little over a year, yeah. Yeah. And you probably don't want to... Use your fingers like you are. Use your fingers on that. It looked like it was on flamey. You turn your torch off or... Not yet. Okay. Yeah, I'll turn my torch off now. Thank you. You're just afraid something can get hurt. I'm afraid they're gonna get some on fire. <laughs> All right. So, so yes. So the new. And by the way, when you you go to clean your brush, popping this off the end makes it a whole lot easier to pull all the hair and crap off of these. Yeah, that's good to know. Um, something that you may or may not know that you can do. Yeah. Um, there are people that recommend lubricating this. I am not going to join that bandwagon. Um, it's a steel shaft in a bronze or brass, probably bronze, bushing. Uh, it's a pretty typical low cost bearing type thing. Given the amount of crud that we found in this one, yeah, and how oil, grease, will attract dirt. Makes it worse. I wouldn't put anything on it. Okay. Um, I think all it will do will is just be a magnet for more dirt. And then it gets in there and it holds it in there and it just acts as 
and abrasive. I'm pretty sure if I pop this one open, it's not going to have all these grooves and crap in it. Yeah, we know, you're upside down. Is it supposed to pop out? Yeah. Okay. I'm not like breaking it. Nope. Okay. There's like all the way around little. Oh, little poppy things to. Yep. So why are you using those? Well, because they're all the way around. Oh. You see, I have to walk my way around like that. Ah. All right. So okay. moment of truth. Yeah. Yeah. So. New one. The one that had the grit. Old one. You can see the grooves that are worn in it. This one doesn't have. It's flush. Okay, well. So it chewed it up pretty good. All right. And like I said, that's how it was when we found it initially. That was yeah, pushed that out. Popped out. And and, and we didn't notice it. So, you know, pro tip, when you're changing your brush, if you start to see that thing pushing out, get you a new roller Yeah. quick. If you have to, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure this is gonna fix our problem. We'll, okay. we'll see it when we put it back together here now, but. It'll quit saying bumper loose, bumper loose. That, that's what we're hoping it was for. Doing. It was. <laughs> It was uh, bumper oh, stuck. Oh, fix my bumper. Fix my bumper. Yeah. <laughs> like every five minutes, it's like, really? Yeah, so this has got a little tab right there where it goes in. Okay. And it just snaps back together like that. Okay. We don't want that one, do I don't we? want the old one, thanks. All right, so awesome. put that in there. And then the roller just goes back in per normal. Um, only goes one way. Christy and I had this discussion the other day. So if you do it like that, it's sticking up there. So that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. That's the right way. It's nice right. and flush across there. We'll put this guy on, which is a little tricky without the front on because it looks like it's not on all the way. Oh. <laughs> So that's on there like that. And a little side brush guy goes on. And then you can put your bumper back on. So now, oh, no. It's gonna start running off the counter. <laughs> it's ready to go. <laughs> Yay! I've been fixed, I'm out of here. What I found, having had this off multiple times already, is if I kinda put it on here like this, It'll kind of it's it seems to be one of those things that it doesn't go, it doesn't go, and then you hold your mouth just the right way and it But you're really good at doing <laughs> and it will all of a sudden click itself back together. I keep popping the button off the top of this switch over here on this side. Well, don't do that. And then we find it after we've got it all back together. Yeah. So I've been having some difficulties with that. Okay. All right, so now. It should be, hopefully. It's still a little, but it's a lot better. Okay. I think it's okay. Okay. So. Alright, so the assessment we'll, of the Nito. We'll give that a shot. Again, keep an eye on your roller. If you see this starting to creep out like that. Yeah. Replace it. It um, really do some damage. Yeah, and if it does, I've read reports of people that bought the cheap rollers on Amazon or elsewhere and this happens, this comes out and it melts that side. So hopefully that shows you how 
like I said, we could have used a soldering iron, um, possibly a heat gun. I, I'm pretty sure if we cut that plastic clean off of there, the way this sits in there, this part here and this part here is still going to hold that all in there, even if that was just cut completely off. It's still not going to come out of there. Right. Illustrate that point. Or are you ready to be done? I'm ready to be done. I think you've got it good. But you can see that even if that middle of that was was gone, yeah. There, there's still, you know, this whole part here is holding it to keep it from coming out. Okay. So I think you're you're fine. Uh, right. Especially if you're out of warranty, I wouldn't be trying to spend hundreds of dollars to find that particular piece underneath there. No. Um, and if you've had any experience with that and tried what we just did and it didn't work or something you know please let us know yeah. so okay thanks for watching